Secret of the RGB Icon Part 2 Remember how we mixed colors by superimposing light patches building the RGB icon? Now I will show you an alternative. We start with an illuminated white screen. As soon as an object is placed in front of the screen, it is revealed that the illumination comes from three floodlights. We get three partly overlapping shadows producing a scale of greys, or rather just dark grey and light grey shadows, surrounded by white and with a black spot at the center. Now back to the illuminated white screen. This time the shadow casting object reveals that the illumination comes from three floodlights with colored filters, a red, a green and a blue one. Together, adding up to constitute a kind of colorless illumination. Compare the two representations of the RGB icon. To the left, constituted by superimposing colored light spots. To the right, by superimposing colored shadows. The two pictures are perfectly complementary, in terms of an interchange of light and dark. Both illustrate the principle of additive color mixing and supply us with a physical definition of complementary colors. Let us now study the process in closer detail. We start with a case of three identical floodlights without color filters. Then we put a blue filter in front of one of the light sources and then a red filter in front of another one and we find that the green filter will not be needed. The grey shadow had turned green. Not a strong green, but it is definitely not the pure grey we had at the beginning. Let us try another combination. We start with a blue filter and next a green filter. This time, we do not need a red one. The grey shadow has turned uh, not strongly red, but reddish brown. Definitely not pure grey. The third case is, of course, to dispose of the blue filter. So with red and green illuminations, we produce a violet shade. What I wanted to demonstrate is how the perceptual process contributes to the layout of the colors we see. The various independent light patches, the constituents of the picture, are shown to interact to constitute the image as a coherent whole.